Anytime I do any sort of organized exercise, I feel great. Why don't you do it more often? Then? I, I, I need to. It's a weird thing. It's like... Come on. That's what I'm talking about. It's like this weird sort of, you know you got to do it, but you, I, I, I often make the decision like, because I, 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 I've made this decision every time I go to a new hotel when I'm on the road. I say, this weekend, I'm going to work out. I pack my gym clothes. I put them in the thing. I say, okay, tomorrow morning when I get up, I'm going to go to the gym. Then I get up in the morning, and then I just like go get lunch. Do you brush your teeth? Do you take a shit? I go do. Go to the gym. I do. Just go to the gym. Yeah. It's like don't give yourself an out. The problem is you yeah. give yourself an out. Yeah. Like you can't give yourself an out. Why I do I do s- that though? It's a, it, Stephen Pressfield wrote a, wrote about it in The War of Art. Yeah. Uh, it's a great book. If you haven't read it, The War of Art, it's a real yeah. small book. I used to have a stack of them. I used to hand them out to guests. He talks about um, this thing that we all have, everyone has, and not just me, I mean, everybody that does anything has. And it's like this voice in your head that wants you to do nothing. This voice in your head, and he calls it resistance. Yeah. And he, exactly. he talks about this resistance that is in your head and that you have to decide that you are a professional. And this is what a professional does. A professional goes to work. And they, they, they give in to the muse, okay? The concept of the muse, whether or not it's real, but the concept of the muse is <sighs> you settle in and receive creativity almost like as a divine gift from this magical entity, the muse. Now, whether or not it's real is not important. What's important is, it, is if you treat it as if it's real, it does work. And what works is if you dedicate your time and your focus, like realistically, with a professional, disciplined effort to creativity, you show up every day like a professional, but you show up to be creative. If you just do it on a regular basis, ideas will come to you. Where are these ideas coming from? Well, his, his concept was to think of it as you're a professional and you're getting these ideas from the muse. And this is what you do. You show up and you do the work, you focus on it, and these ideas will come to you. And that's really true. If you really stop and think about it, if you write something, whether it's the most brilliant thing you've ever written or whether you're not good at editing and it turns out to be dog shit, you're still, it's where's that coming from, man? You're just sitting down in front of your laptop and these thoughts are coming to you and all of a sudden you're talking about a kid who's riding a bike and he gets attacked by a werewolf. Like, where the fuck is this coming from? If it's not coming from the muse, where is it coming from? Well, it's coming from my creativity. Okay. Do you know how to access your creativity like you can blink? No, you don't. Do you know how to access your activity like you can lick something or perform any sort of physical function that's repeatable? No, you don't. It's a non-repeatable thing. Treat it like it's magic. But treat it like you're a professional and you show up to engage with the magic. So every day, at the same time, you sit down in front of your keyboard and you start working mm-hmm. and just put in the work and put in the work and force yourself to do it. Force it like a muscle, like the same muscle that you develop when you go running every day. And then you get to the point where like seven days in, you start fucking feeling good running. <sighs> right. Right. So you start to feel like you're good at it. You start feeling like you're getting better. Yeah. Because you're putting in the time. <laughs>